El Luis Axon was born in Savannah, Georgia, USA. The daughter of a Presbyterian minister, Samuel Edwards Axon, and his wife, Margaret Jane Axon. Ellen became a woman of refined taste with a fondness for art, music, and literature. When she was 11 years old, she began studying art at the Rome Female College in Georgia. After her graduation in 1876, Ellen's drawing titled School Scene was submitted to the Paris International Exposition, where it won a bronze medal for excellence. In April 1883, she met Woodrow Wilson when he was visiting his cousin Jesse Woodrow Wilson in Rome, Georgia. At the time, she was keeping house for her widowed father. They were engaged five months later, but postponed the wedding while he did postgraduate work at John Hopkins University, and she nursed her ailing father. Ellen's father committed suicide while hospitalized for depression. She then went north to study at the Art Students League of New York. Woodrow Wilson, who was 28 years of age, married Ellen, age 25, on June 24, 1885, at her grandparents' home in Savannah, Georgia. The newlyweds honeymooned in Waynesville, a mountain resort in western North Carolina. That same year, Bryn Mawr College in Pennsylvania offered Dr. Wilson a teaching position. They relocated nearby the campus, keeping her little brother with them. She insisted on her children not being born in the north, so Ellen went to stay with relatives in Gainesville, Georgia for their firstborn, Margaret's birth in 1886 and Jesse's in 1887. This kept the first two daughters as Southern Bells. However, Eleanor was born in Connecticut in 1889, while Woodrow was teaching at Wesleyan University. There were no other children born after that by Ellen Wilson. Woodrow's career at the College of New Jersey began in 1890, bringing Ellen new social responsibilities. She took refuge from such demands in her art. In 1896, the College of New Jersey officially became a university and officially changed its name to Princeton University as it was located in Princeton, New Jersey. After Woodrow Wilson was elected as U.S. President in 1912, the Wilsons preferred to begin the administration without an inaugural ball. The First Lady's entertainments were simple. In their first year, she convinced her husband that it would be perfectly proper to invite influential legislators to a private dinner. As First Lady, she drew sketches and painted in the studio set up on the third floor of the Executive Mansion. She donated much of her work to charity. She arranged the Executive Mansion weddings for two of her daughters. As First Lady, she devoted much effort to the cause of improving housing in the national capital's largely black slums. Ellen Wilson died of Bright's disease at the Executive Mansion on August 6, 1914. She was buried in Rome, Georgia among her family at Myrtle Hill Cemetery.